All right, so welcome to your tutorial for Pop Goes the Weasel. Um, so this uh, song is different from the ones we've done before and that it's in 3-4. And what that means is that we, instead of four beats per measure, I have three beats per measure. So instead of counting one, two, three, four, I go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So count of three, right? Like a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. So what you can see in your music is that the song begins with a quarter note um, rest. So that's like what we call the pickup. So it's like, and we begin on the downbeat uh, together, okay? So for you, um, those, it's called like dotted um, half note. Um, the, the, the symbol you have, your rhythmic uh, figure is a dotted half note. So every time you see a half note with a dot, we call it a dotted half note. And dotted half, half notes last for three beats. So you're just gonna count three beats to play the G and then you wait. You see that you have a, a, a rest, you have an entire measure of rest before you have to play another G. So it would sound like this. This is what your um, pop goes, this goes the weasel sounds like. Ready? It goes like this. One, two, three. Uh, sorry, I did a, a four count instead of three. I've been counting in four all day. Sorry, that's my bad. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Now I'm going to start measure 12. If you lost count, I'm at 12 now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. Pop! We're going to say pop. It's a surprise. Don't tell anyone. I'm at measure now 13, 14, 15. So in 15, you have something new, which is instead of having um, an, a G string, you have a D string. So let's go down on G on D for three beats. Ready? One, two, three, then up on G. One, two, three, and down on G again. One, two, three, one, two, three. For to the last measure of the song, you don't play. Okay? So um, yeah, that was Pop Goes the Weasel. Don't tell anyone about the pop. Mm -hmm.